ridiculous shit. If you allow your family to be in jeopardy of being convicted, fucking convicted, this guy can't even speak English, you're a lazy, selfish person. Oh, lazy, selfish person. All right, so let's watch some lazy, selfish, small business owners. So this is a news uh, segment from CNN. Um, this is how small businesses are reacting to this pandemic. Now, the right wing just calls them lazy. They're lazy. These restaurant owners, they're just lazy. Yeah, sure, they're working 16-hour shifts just to stay afloat. Yeah, sure, everyone's afraid to go to the restaurant because there's a pandemic and they're not getting any financial kickback, tax breaks, anything, whatever. But if you're a right winger, you see these people, you see disgusting slobs. Like, sure, 16-hour shifts? Why don't you do 18 hours? What are you, lazy? Yeah, these people are lazy. Let's watch. The owner of Universal Joint Restaurant here on the corner, Bruce Kennedy, tells me if it weren't for the PPP loan earlier this year, his restaurant may not have survived. He says it is critical for our leaders in Washington to provide more aid for small businesses very soon. Here's what he said. It's not, you know, Democrat. It's not Republican. We're just look, again, look at this crybaby, right? Like you're a Republican, right? And you're watching this. Oh, what a crybaby. This small business owner, this restaurant owner, just can't cry, can't stop crying and begging for handouts, right? They just can't stop. They can't help themselves but beg on their hands and knees for handouts from big daddy government, right? Right? That's what you think? All right, let's listen to this crybaby, right? It's not, you know, Democrat. It's not Republican. We're just people. We need help. And so, you know, I would take all the politics out of it. That's what we're telling everybody here, you know, take it all out. And let's just be people and help each other out because we got to get through this together. Again, right wingers, I got some dumbass in the chat room right now saying, what? What? You can't have your small business work? Just go somewhere else. Yeah, I know, right? You can't, like, what are we just going to, like, like in that episode of Spongebob where they pick up the Krusty Krab and move it somewhere else? Yeah, I know you've had a restaurant in your hometown where you grew up for 40 years, right? And you can't pay the bills because, you know, there's a fucking pandemic depression going on, unprecedented. Well, why don't you just go pack up your small business and go somewhere else with all the money that you have? I think, right, as because I'm a Republican, right? I think people should pick themselves up by their bootstraps. Why doesn't this guy just pick up his building, go somewhere else? This guy is lazy and he's begging for handouts, right? That's what these people are. That's what Republicans want you to think. They want you to look at your fellow human and hate them. Why? Why do you hate your fellow human? Why do you not care about your fellow human? Restaurants, local businesses, small businesses, non-corporate owned businesses are vital to the health of a community. When you spend money at a Walmart, that money does not stay in your local community. When you spend money at a local restaurant, that money stays in your community. The person you're giving the money to, right, is going to pay their employees that live in your community. Those employees are going to spend money at other businesses in your community. When you spend money at a Walmart, most of that money is sucked away and sent to Arkansas or whatever the fuck the headquarters is. They don't give a fuck about you. Why are you simping for Republican politicians if you are? Why are you simping for Democrat politicians if you are? You should be demanding that the government, which, by the way, is paid for by our tax dollars, you should be demanding that this government give us some of this cake. Remember, right, the CARES Act, how much money went to big corporations? How much money went to small people? Hmm really makes you think but this country is in ruins and no one really gives a fuck we're just sitting here no one really cares millions and millions and millions of people's lives are being destroyed irreparably and an entire political party is just calling them lazy lazy crybabies that's their message the donald trump administration's message mitch mcconnell's republican party's message is pick yourself up by your bootstraps, you lazy crybaby son of a bitch. The Democrats, by the way, they don't even have a message. They don't, at least the Republicans have a message. The Democrats, I hear crickets, right? This government is a failed government. We live in a collapsing empire in a failed state that barely even exists, right? 
You go outside, do you see any proof? Do you see any evidence of a federal government when you walk around your neighborhood? Because I don't. All I see are small businesses shutting down, gone for good during a pandemic depression that was easily preventable if we didn't have corporate gangsters running our government. That's what I see.